Peggy. What is good, friends? Say hi, Leo. Hi. So, hi. <laughs> I am it. Um, as a kind of a Christmas stocking stuffer, I got myself a copy of December edition of National Geographic. And the reason is because for the better part of a year, I had been following this uh, story by um, on Instagram by Stephen Winter. <laughs> Stephen Winter does a lot of uh, big cat uh, photography. Okay, pause. This is the older, more mature me breaking in. That other guy who was just that, you can't. Right, wait till you hear what I have to say. I was a little bit distracted while I was doing that because of my two boys, who are, by the way, my pride and joy. Incidentally, those are their middle names, Emmett Pride and Leo Joy. A second name gets a lot of odd looks. So what I failed to explicate is that Steve Winter, what he had been doing on Instagram, is sharing pictures of jaguars, jaguars, jaguars in, in uh, Central and South America, saying on each one in the description, this is for an upcoming Nat Geo story I'm doing. It will be coming out in the December 2017 issue of National Geographic. So my anticipation and excitement for this uh, for this story was high. I'd been following it, like I say, for about a year. So I don't explain that well because I'm really distracted, like I am now. And he was just posting incredible pictures on Instagram of his of his journey down to South America. I'll be honest, I was a little bit disappointed with the actual story in National no. Geographic. So the reason the article was a little bit uh, disappointing to me is that it didn't really have that much about jaguars. It was more about the author taking, it had great pictures, the author taking ayahuasca, this kind of jungle hallucinogenic psychoactive drink that a shaman gives him and he has these otherworldly visions, which was really kind of interesting to me because I just read Graham Hancock's book Supernatural and ayahuasca features hugely in that book, but I was kind of hoping from the article that it would give some information about the state of jaguars, conservation. What's that? <laughs> okay, Stephen Winter also took a lot of the pictures in this book that I just read. And he also took all the pictures in this book. They're having fun with that National Geographic magazine, which is kind of like a coffee table kind of book, really beautiful, beautiful pictures. Anyway, the cool thing is, this week, Betsy and I are gonna go and uh, and see the photographer, Steve Winter, in Kitchener. I saw there's a like a National Geographic event, and Steve Winter is gonna be there, and he's gonna tell stories about his various assignments that he's done. We got a babysitter lined up. And we're gonna... Sorry, there are future National Geographic lovers. I was the exact same way when I was four, five, six years old. My parents got that magazine and I would just pour over the issues. Anyway, I'm really excited to see Steve Winter. We don't do very much fun stuff, so. What are you looking at? They think they see a jaguar butt and they are pretty thrilled about it. Like Emmett's favorite, Emmett's favorite Christmas present was when he unwrapped underwear. He thought that was hilarious. So. Like kings? That's actually a pawn, and that must have a king, but that's cool. Pretend it is a king. Oh, good idea. I don't want it. Oh, he doesn't want it. Leo, do you want mine? Yeah. I want um, No, no, no. So you might be wondering, incidentally, what's the difference between a jaguar and a leopard? Pause. So, older, wiser me again. Surprisingly, what I say at this point is actually not that interesting as I talk about the difference between the jaguar and the leopard. So I'm gonna kind of let that go. Although, as I say that, I'm kind of tempted now to just re-summarize what I just said that I'm now cutting out myself saying. But I won't. I'm wiser now. Sometimes dots inside of those. Yeah. Hi, Nick and Courtney! Wow, I didn't even... That was voluntary. I didn't tell him to say that. I smell poop. Did, did you too? I, did I too? Okay, we're gonna get pizza ready. It's not delivery, it's... Delicio. What happened to DiGiorno? Is that only an American thing? Is Delicio the pizza. Canadian analog of DiGiorno? Are they the same company? So many questions. Hello? What? Can I have that now? Oh, we have to cook it first. I'm just checking back in to say that one of the things I'm an absolute expert at is doing the dishes, but it takes me about four hours. Right, Betsy? What? I'm good at dishes. Mama. Not really. What? Yeah, you're really good at dishes. What would you, what would you say about how... Uh, Mama. It takes you forever, that's Mama. all I would say. Let's play scooter. 